Welcome back to our morning edition of Sunday News. This is your newscaster, Pastor G. Let's take it from the top. We have coronavirus news. The latest is that people are so paranoid about the coronavirus that they are scared of people, even with the sniffles. Jack, come here. Next, we have more coronavirus news. People are going crazy while they're stuck at home and finding crazy things to do just to pass the time. Just check out this poor cat. And finally, guess what? We have more coronavirus news. 
Streets are empty, but homes are filled and tensions are flaring as people are starting to get agitated by staying in one spot too long. No. You've had enough. Your breakfast is gone. Move on. No, you'll get more tonight at supper. You are not starving. No, you're not. You're on a diet. No, no more breakfast. Listen. Cashew, you're on a diet because you're a little chubby, okay? Yeah, n no. Do you want a, hey, do you want a snack? Like, um, maybe an ice cube? <laughs> Poor doggy. The next on the board, more coronavirus news? Is there nothing else in this world to talk about the coronavirus news? Last week, we talked about how Israel conquered the unconquerable city of Jericho, and now their leader, Joshua, carried them through God's faith. Did you guys know that even though after Joshua died, that they started worshiping other gods? Let's turn to Judges chapter 2, verse 7 through 12. The people served the Lord throughout the lifetime of Joshua and of the elders who outlived him and who had seen all the great things the Lord had done for Israel. Joshua's son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died at the age of 110, and they buried him in the land of his inheritance at Timnath, Harris, in the hill country of Ephraim, north of Mount Gash. After that, the whole generation had been gathered to their ancestors. Another generation grew up who knew neither the Lord nor what, nor what he had done for Israel. Then the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord and served the Baals. They forsook the Lord, the God of their ancestors, who had brought them out of Egypt. They followed and worshipped various gods, the people around them. They aroused the Lord's anger. Can you believe that? God gave them all this land and finally gave Israel a place to call home, and even allowed Israel to have great fame and reputation around the other nations. It's sad, but it's true. People forget who they were after a while, and when they start losing sight of who God is. Ever since the pandemic, you see on the news, bad news after bad news after bad news, and people start panicking. You see people waiting in long lines to go to the supermarket, and even fighting with each other for toilet paper. Really? Toilet paper? Toilet paper? You're going to fight each other about toilet paper? Whatever happened to taking care of each other and looking out for each other? We forgot that America is one of the wealthiest countries in the world, not because we have a lot of stuff or rich people. We became a great nation because we are a nation that welcomed immigrants and was an open country to ideas and thoughts from outside of the U.S. This is what it says on the Statue of Liberty. Guys, you guys know what this is, right? The Statue of Liberty in New York. This is a plaque that you see and it's the one that the plaque that is uh, inside the the visiting area of the Statue of Liberty. And this, these are the words that it says on the Statue of Liberty plaque. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. America was supposed to be a country that included everybody. White people, black people, Asians, Latinos, Chinese, Italians, Spanish, Germans, Iranians, French, Koreans, our relatives, our friends, our classmates, our neighbors. But because everyone is panicking due to the coronavirus, and because all we hear about is how bad the coronavirus is, we are starting to be mean to other people and forgetting that we should be kind and love people. But guess what? There is hope. According to Josh Judges 6, 15, and 18, Whatever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for calamity, as the Lord had said and as the Lord had sworn to them, and they were greatly distressed. Whenever the Lord raised up a hero for them, he was with the hero and saved them out of the hands of their enemies as long as the hero lived. But the Lord relented because of the groaning under those who oppressed and afflicted them. Despite the fact that the Israelites started ignoring God and started worshiping other gods, God would send a hero to help them from their sins and enemies. Those heroes are people like Deborah, the lady prophet, Samson, the strong one, and Gideon, the brave one. 
With all the panicking and fear going around, God is providing us with great heroes. Doctors and nurses who are on the front line fighting the virus that is hurting others and making people scared. There are your pastors like Pastor Brian who is giving up on his church, who is not giving up on his church, and still giving sermons via YouTube. There are teachers who are preparing Bible lessons for you even though they can't come to church. Your parents who are taking the time from work to spot all the hardship or to school, feed, and pray for you. And there is you. You guys can be heroes too by standing up for your friends, your family members, and your neighbors who are suffering because of the coronavirus. We can all be heroes by pay, praying for others and thinking about others and how, about how those are people that are suffering because of the coronavirus. This, that is what being a hero is. Even though the whole world might be scared to love others and be kind, we don't become like the world and still choose to love and pray for others. Let's take this time to pray. Father, we want to thank you so much for gathering all of us here today, where we come and worship you and uh, learn more about you through the scriptures. We ask of you, Lord Jesus, that you truly just uh, keep us brave and keep us courageous, not just for our own selves and, or our own families, but, Father God, for our neighbors as well, who are suffering because of the coronavirus. Let us take the time to pray for them. Let us take the time to love them. And let us take the time to care for them when the world, whole world, the rest of the world is panicking. We ask of you for guidance throughout this tough time and help us become heroes among those people that are scared, people that don't know who to turn to, because we know who to turn to, and that's you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for all this time and for this time that we come to you before you and learn about you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.